Hi, I'm Coy Barefoot here on West Lawn, Pavilion 5 at the University of Virginia. I had the great privilege to sit down recently with Charlottesville photographer and UVA alumnus Ed Roseberry. Ed was born on July 4th, 1925, and he is very well known for his decades of work chronicling the people, the events, and the scenes of Charlottesville and the University of Virginia. When I was young, high school age, I thought I would like to follow a course in art. And I discovered I wasn't the great artist I thought I was, so I proceeded to uh, use a camera that my dad had bought on his, on his honeymoon. And uh, I found it worked pretty well. Uh, not the ultimate camera I wanted, but all I could uh, manage at that time. And the very first photograph I took after picking up the camera from my dad was the ship that I was on with 4,000 other sailors, Marines, Army, Army Air Corps, as we passed under the Golden Gate Bridge going west without an idea where we were going. I took a lot of photographs while I was in Hawaii. I unfortunately did not have access to color film, so I had to resort to everything I did in black and white. And that's obviously a drawback in Hawaii because it's so colorful. But anyway, it sufficed and uh, I got a lot of uh, interesting images for my scrapbook and to send home to my family. I got, I came back, was discharged from the Navy in, in 1946, re-entered the University of Virginia, and I still had that light bulb going off in the back of my head that I wanted to pursue photography. So I went to a local camera shop and bought a twin lens reflex camera that was actually much better than the camera I had been using. It also had a flash attachment and I enjoyed using it. But like anything else, I had to learn to use the machinery because before I could transfer my ideas uh, into the practice. So I did. I fooled around with it all the summer of 1946. And when I went back to enter classes in September of 46, I immediately uh, went to the uh, Corpse and Curls yearbook uh, and applied for a staff uh, job in photography. In 1962, it was not only the Dogwood Festival Parade, it was also in celebration of the 200th anniversary of the founding of Charlottesville. I enjoyed the seeing a parade like anybody else. It's a festive occasion and the floats and the bands and the uh, performers in the parade itself were interesting to, not only to look at but interesting to photograph. And the camera was always by my side and I recorded practically every year that the event occurred. I got a letter, an official letter from the University of Virginia Information Services, as it was known at that time, from a guy named Bill Rannick, who was in charge of it. And uh, the letter permitted me to get uh, on location while the shooting of the first footage of the film was being done in Keswick, Virginia. It was, it was done from depicting the screenplay was depicting a book giant written by Edna Ferber. It was shot at uh, Keswick, renamed Ardmore for the, for the film, and uh, it had as actors here in Charlottesville, uh, Rock Hudson, Melissa Taylor, Rod Taylor, uh, Paul Fix, and uh, George Stevens as director. And it was filmed right at the little railroad station next to the Keswick uh, Hunt Club. And that exists today, station not being used anymore. And it's uh, still, you can see where the 
filming is done. All people that I met were important to me, and I tried to photograph them in the best way possible, showing their character, their feeling, their emotion, their features, and the excitement that they uh, drew while they were alive. Thank you.